What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. It looks like Sham has dropped a tweet with some more breaking news. I'm seeing that Bradley Bill is being targeted by the Phoenix Suns. Um, I'm not surprised with Phoenix. Uh, obviously, with you know the new addition with ownership, it seems like ownership is making a lot of moves with signing Kevin Durant, and then just seeing how everything unfolded in the playoffs. You know, we seeing. You know, Phoenix waving Chris Paul. You know, DeAndre Ayton can be traded. He's on the verge of being traded. So it's going to be a lot of moves being made with Phoenix. And I'm not surprised that Bradley Bill can be a potential player that they will go after in this offseason. Now, with Bradley Bill, I mean, he's a great player. You know, he's averaged over 23 points within the last past five seasons. You know, he's been, um, you know, one of the better shooter guards in the league. And I can see him contributing to Phoenix and being that guy that can really help Durant and Booker, um, you know, be that strong team in the West. Um, when you really look at how Phoenix, you know, the way they pretty much got dismantled by the Nuggets, um, it looks like, you know, Phoenix needs, a, you know, more scoring ability. You know, they need more to their depth chart. You know, their bench isn't really strong. I mean, when you really look at their guards, you know, with Terrence Ross, Damon Lee, um, you know, Laundre Shamit. You know, these aren't guys that's going to, um, you know, that's going to be able to compete in the future. These aren't players you want to be competing in the playoffs and competing for championships. Um, even when you look at the point guard position, I mean, the Phoenix Suns are waving, you know, they wave Chris Paul, but Cameron Payne cannot be your, your, your you know, your solution. It can't be your answer to Chris Paul. So I definitely think, you know, Phoenix is behind, way behind in Miami. Um, so, I mean, if Bradley Bill was to consider going to Miami, depending on, you know, what happens with the contracts, because, you know, Bradley Bill, he has a wealthy contract. You know, uh, when you look at for the 2023 season, he's due $46 million for 2024. He's due $50 million for 2025. He's due $53 million. And then in 2026, he has a player option for $56 million. Jesus Christ. I mean, this guy pretty much has a wealthy contract and um, it's going to be a lot to navigate to get him. So it's going to have to be a lot of scenarios for Miami, because when you look at, you know, Tyler Hero, you know, K Gabriel Vinson and Caleb Martin, I mean, these three guards has really improved for this Miami team. And it's looking like a sacrifice. Sacrifices are going to have to be made if, you know, Bradley Bill lands himself in Miami. But I do like the combination between Butler and Beal. I think they could complement each other because, you know, Jimmy Butler, you know, everything he's shown and everything he's done with his leadership and just bringing this Miami team as far as he did this year. Um, Jimmy Butler is not a first scoring kind of optional player. You know, Jimmy Butler is a guy that he, you know, he's a guy that plays conservative. Um, you know, he, don't get me wrong. He's a bucket. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, there's a pace at how he plays the game. And I think he definitely needs, you know, another player that can be, you know, a scorer that can, you know, just take over games and just be a natural three-point shooter and just put points on the board, you know, just a, a player that can, um, you know, score at will and just be a guy that he can rely on and depend on. Um, and then adding that with Bam out of bio, I think, you know, Brad, Bradley Bill could, you know, potentially take this team over the hump um, and, and win a championship. <laughs> so it's looking like, you know, Miami can be a really good destination for him. But I'm seeing a lot of reports. But right now, it's looking like Miami and Phoenix are the top two teams that can potentially get him. And I think those are teams he'll be very interested in just because these are, you know, title contender and um, potential teams. You know, I think he's beyond just, you know, making money. I think Bradley Bill wants to, you know, compete and, and you know, he wants to play in June, guys. You know, he's you know, he's collecting a lot, you know, he's making a lot of good money, but I think he's in a point in his career where he wants to go somewhere where he can, you know, not only make money, but compete and, and win championships. Um, so I want to hear your guys' thoughts, guys. For you guys, I want to hear what you guys think about Bradley Bill as far as, you know, um, where do you think he's going to land as far as Miami? Or do you think he's going to go to Phoenix? Um, you know, Bradley Bill, he's one of the better shooting guards in the league. He's been averaging over 23 points within the last past five seasons. You know, I still think he has... Um, you know, a few more years in his career. Um, I think at this point in his career, he's at the height of his career where he just needs to be around, uh, you know, a good squad and, you know, a team that's going to, you know, pretty much uplift him and uplift his confidence, you know, because sometimes, man, when you're making so much money, 
you know that's always cool, man. But when you have to, when you're being exit, when you have to, you know, when you're done playing basketball, you know, before June and stuff, and you're not in the playoffs, um, I'm, I'm sure it's not a good feeling, man. You know, a lot of superstars don't want to be, you know, they want to be competing for championships. You know, that's what you do. You, you know, you, you're here to to compete and win. So it's looking like you know the Wizards are. There's no secret. You know, the Wizards want to trade Bradley Bill. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear what you guys think. I brought Bally Bill, and be sure to, to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of NBA content, um, a lot of breaking news, so be sure to subscribe. I got you guys covered. I also do NFL content as well. So, yeah, guys, be sure to drop a like, comment, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.